Welcome, so now we're going to install App Volumes Manager here in our Azure VM. So we're going to execute the MSI from Elevated. This can take a little bit, so we're just going to pause here for a second. Okay, so now we'll resume. Except in the EULA, we're going to let it install SQL Local. So what it's doing here, just for fun, is it's executing this little install SQL Server bat script. So we're back. We can see it now. We're getting through the whole little database setup. I just turn off the, any kind of certificate validation stuff because it's not really necessary. Because again, it doesn't really matter. We're just doing this all kind of a testing scenario. So as this is an Azure, we're going to select Azure as the type. We're going to click install. And now we're going to go through the whole app volumes installation process. You can see here the install is still kind of humming along. Things are going pretty well though. One thing I do like to do while I'm waiting is start setting up the share. So while this is installing, we do is we go into hypervisor, ingest VHD, and we're going to drop this right in there as that's the mode we'll be using when we do our setup. Pretty simple. So we're just continuing to let this kind of do its thing. You can see here it's doing some of the final tasks and we're about to be all ready to start moving our way into configuration. And just around 20 minutes later we're done. So now we're going to move our way into configuration. It might take a couple minutes for the services to fully come up, but we double click on the app volumes manager. Again, we're not really that concerned about the certificates. Okay, looks like our service is starting to come up, so let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to click get started shows me the license information that's all good now we're going to add in our domain let's grab our LDAP base here okay we got our base in there now we're going to put in our administrator account not that it really matters um, we're going to keep it really simple here so doing 389 no big deal click register okay domain has been registered so this stuff you know services are kind of not quite up so not really a big deal okay so you can see this it's all good and okay next admin roles The only group I have in here right now is the test domain. We're going to go next. Okay, so for the type, we're going to pick VHD and guest services, which is why we copied those files earlier on. Now, storage will be relatively easy. We're going to click Add File Share. And let's grab that file share info. Now, my preference is I like using a SAS key here. I'm going to click Search. You can see it sees that. I'm going to click add. Yes, please do add. So that has been added. And you know, we're just kind of taking all that and hit next. Set defaults. Okay, so now that the share is in there, we hit next. Set defaults, import those volumes. Data stores are now saved. We're just going to tell them to go ahead and upload all those templates. Then there's some settings, if you'd like. Hit save. And now we are done. From here, and like I said, these services are not being fully up. Don't worry about that stuff too much as I had to resize my VM, which is why we're seeing that stuff again. But yeah, it's really just that simple. When we get back, we'll talk about setting things up, configuring an app stack.